So in looking through the work you guys have been working on, I see a lot of people over the course of the, this week have skipped this part of our activity. So um, I thought I would do a quick little film to show you guys what's happening here. And I realized um, when I was making this from a PDF, um, I couldn't get it to turn into a Google document. So I ended up taking pictures of these things because they were really difficult to format in Google um, documents. So these lines here are just lines that I couldn't get rid of from the original and that might have confused people a little bit. <clears throat> so what's happening with the quotient rule is we basically are taking um, our exponents and the bases and spreading them out. So this was two to the third power and this is two to the second power. So you see it being rewritten as two times two times two and two times two. Now you guys know that anything that is a fraction equal to one would be like two over two. So when we're canceling, what we have here is this. So this is being rewritten as two times two times two over two times two. And I put a one there because there's no other two to go underneath this two. So I made the one that's usually invisible visible. These cancel because they equal one. These cancel because they equal one. And that leaves us with just a single two. And that can be written, I know it's really, really tiny, as two to the first power or just two. So I'm going to try that again with the second one. It's three to the seventh power. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need one more. And remember, this is just a proof. We would not normally write this out. We're using this column to show what the rule is doing. And then three times three times three times three. So there's four down here and there's seven up here. So I can take away four of them from both. That's where the subtraction comes in. So instead of showing cancel here because I actually just canceled it here and honestly, I don't wanna write all those threes again. This is what's really happening with the quotient rule. Three to the seventh power over three to the fourth power when I have the same base, I can take the exponent from the numerator minus the exponent from the denominator, and that's gonna give me my result. Seven minus four is three, so the answer to this one is three to the third power. What do we have left over here? Well, there is nothing left here, which means this is over an invisible one, and there's three left up here which is what gave us our third power. Okay, so I hope that that clarifies a little bit. Um, on the same piece of paper is the zero exponent rule. Anything to the zero power is equal to one. What's the reason for that? Well, if I use the quotient rule for this, two to the third power over two to the third power would be equal to two to three minus three and two times uh, uh, to the power of three minus three is two to the zero power and that equals one. But really you guys know that anything that is the same numerator and denominator is equal to one. So this here is two to the third power over two to the third power. That would be the same as me seeing uh, six over six is equal to one whole. Remember all of that from elementary school? Because the numerator and the denominator are the same, it's going to be equal to 1. And because the quotient rule has us subtracting these and getting to a 0, that's what makes the zero exponent rule work. So I hope that that clarifies for both of these.